H. I'm Janet from Phoenix, Arizona, and I have an awesome double duty tip. I make bite-sized cakes in a deviled egg tray. I can make the cakes to look exactly like deviled eggs. I'm going to fill each compartment with a little bit less than a tablespoon of batter. Bake them from 12 to 15 minutes. Put them in the refrigerator to have them cool quickly. Let's make the cream cheese frosting. One brick of cream cheese, one stick of softened butter, and we're going to beat this until it gets nice and creamy. That should do it. Next, we're going to add some confectioner sugar and add my vanilla and yellow food coloring. Nice and dark yellow, just like an egg yolk. And now for the fun part. I just love doing the icing. We've got some red sugar here. I'm going to sprinkle a little on like this paprika. Are these deviled eggs or are they cakes? I want to feel that. Janet, my jaw is on the floor. Like, that was awesome. Uh, how adorable. I love that. And, you know, we always say here at our show that our favorite part of our programming comes from our actual viewers. Um, whether it's brilliant Janet making her deviled egg cakes or our two viewers that we have with us today in studio Ooh. bringing their brilliance from their kitchen to yours. Uh, we have Christine and Joe Dean. Yeah. Joe's okay though. Joe's yeah. with it. Yeah. They, they did not plan this. They are color coordinated in every way. Yes. yes. And, and their names rhyme. How cute. Hi everyone. So I'm a baker by trade and my tip involves an ordinary item that everyone probably has kitchen in their tongs. kitchens. Yes. Kitchen tongs. And it's to make a pattern, a professional, even edge on your pie crust. So you take your tongs and you just lay it along the edge and you just kind of squish it down gently. Oh, look at you! Right? Now the key is to do it gently because if you push too hard, you're going to break through the crust. The crust, right. So you just keep following it And along. it's just perfectly dimpled perfectly. every time. You have a nice, even, pretty Woo! edge. So very simple. Love it. Love it. Rachel, yes. I so admire your cutting ability yeah. and everything, but in the McCarthy house, <laughs> we use a hair pick. For what? Well, because I... What are you going to do to that onion? <laughs> I got to tell you, I am a liability in the kitchen, so anything <laughs> that keeps us safe, anything that uh, you, you got to get your chopping done quick because you got to get your meal done quick. Right. So I'm going to show you. I'll, I'll give you, if you want to make onion rings, okay. so you keep it whole, and then you push the hair Shut pick the in. Door, right? <laughs> Such a cool idea. And then, and this is really sharp. I was practicing with this. Yes. I do not have sharp <laughs> knives like this at home. But then you're, you're just going to go in, and wow, that's really sharp. Oh, and it so holds it for it you. It holds it, and it makes even. them even, uh, and it makes them, and I'm um, safer. <laughs> Sa safer. Still not really safe yet. Safer. Uh, and um, so you just keep, you just keep. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, look at yeah. that. It's like. Basically, yeah. the hair pick is training wheels for your chef. Exactly. Exactly. Gotcha. And then if you have, then you can go this way. So if you have to chop for sandwiches, oh, or if you want to chop for, which I'm doing. You just keep more than picking out the hair. Yeah. <laughs> which I'm not doing onion rings, but this way you just keep going. And again, you're safe. And this knife, I've been married for 33 years, and I think I still have the same knives. Oh, so my I God. I think I need to get Well, that would be OK knives. if you kept them sharp. <laughs> yes, but. it would be. OK, so Listen, anyway, the so system works for you, and I think that's beautiful. Yeah, it's fun. She so knows how to get there. It is. So see how wonderful that is? So these are great for sandwiches. But now if you have soups or you have a casserole that you want to do. But wait, there's, there's more. There's more. <laughs> um, so what you would do is you would just put like a little you know, a little right. right here, and then look, I've never chopped this quick in my entire there life. There you go! <laughs> I'm gonna Woo! Go like this. And my hands are nice and clean. My hands are clean. I yeah. smell no. also I smell great. And she smells great, and her hands are clean. I think she's saying that someone else here stinks. <laughs> no. no. Well, I'm married a man that loves onions and garlic, so no. <laughs> uh, no, in all, in all kidding aside, also, if you're someone who invests in their nails and you have really long mm -hmm. nails, that's a really brilliant thing. I don't, thing but too. I like my fingers, so that's <laughs> <what>. <laughs>